what's up everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> i'm really excited today because it's hallelujah festival day <laughs> and um i'm i've been thinking of what to wear for hallelujah festival because i wasn't sure what exactly i want to wear i was thinking i'll just wear like a denim and shirt because i want to be able to get there and dance i went and say Odi Makonga, I don't know if it's Odi Makonga or Odi Makonga and a person that says But when I hear that enter the carpet, I'll be able to like, yeah! I'll be able to jump very well and that's because Usually I don't like wearing anything uncomfortable to church or anywhere that I know that I'm supposed to praise my God So that nothing will hinder my praise So I was thinking of wearing a denim and a t-shirt and sneakers and I got set because I was praying about, you know, the program, going for it and everything that I won't go to perfect. And he said to me that, Juliana, when they tell you to come, <laughs> come for a movie premiere, all oh, these your red carpet events, and they say that the dress code is something, something, you will look for it, you will stress yourself and go through everything to make sure that you find it. Because I was thinking that, why should I wear a wedding dress or, or anything? Because <laughs> I also have like a list of other things that I've written in my prayer journal outside of marriage. Like I said in the video that I posted yesterday, I don't know when I was posting this video, but <laughs> the video I posted talking about me to my mother-in-law, I I wrote several other things before I wrote marriage, but it was when Pastor Nas started talking about, you know, kingdom marriage, that God is sharing husband and sharing wife for his children in this season. I was like, okay, let me jump into the pool. It's like there's a staring in the pool. Staring of the pool. So when God told me that if, if I, so when God told me that if I get an invitation for a movie premiere or any red carpet event, I'll do everything I can to make sure that I, I find something really close to the dress code or follow the dress code. I was like, okay, I see what you're doing there. I actually now tried reaching out to different um, um, bridal dress, um, what's that word now? Different bridal dress vendors. Is that word correct? Whatever, but um, a lot of them that I know, one of them, she's not around another person said oh it's too close they will not be able to make something they don't have something on ground already in my size i was like okay god you see i can't know where let me just say my this and shirt like that and then i remember that oh my auntie actually has a dress i was like oh so i reached out to her and i said i want to wear your dress for Alleluia festival because so this is the dress um it's a wedding dress it's like a cut cute wedding dress um let me show you. It's not very long, but it's just like um, what do they call that thing? It's um, is um, beneath my knee, below my knees. <laughs> but um, I can't wear it just like this because it's going to show my cleavage. You all already know that I don't show cleavage, and I don't know. I just don't want to wear into that. If they say rababa, bend and bend, I'll be doing like this. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'll wear this, and then I'll wear this t-shirt inside i don't know what it look like i pray it comes out nice um but if not because god told me that juliana if you were going for red carpet would you not honor the dress code i would not wear it and i actually reached out to a makeup artist i wanted somebody to style my hair like bridal way but you know lagos too many people will disappoint you I'm hoping that the makeup artist comes. If she doesn't come, because I also don't want to be late. If she doesn't come, I'll just do something really light on my face and pack my hair and go. <laughs> I'm really excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'll carry you guys along with me. Hopefully, I remember to record a few things because I feel like the spirit is going to be moving me. And I will not remember my phone. If I don't remember, forgive me. But I think I'll just like show you guys a few things right and i would either record the remaining part of this video when i'm back or i don't know but i'll but just follow me follow me <laughs> follow me as i follow jesus <laughs> okay guys so i had to do my makeup myself because the makeup artist was not answering me so i've done my makeup it's really simple and minimal there's no lights and at this point i cannot put on the gent so manage this video like that i've worn my shirt i want to wear this dress on it now i hope it comes out well my brother is going to help me hey <laughs> okay okay that's how you want my machine 
God, is this in sounds is it going to be fine? Come on, but in it first. Come on, let me do the back. As you want to my shape, flower boy, you like the wedding. I won't shake. Go by the shape, I want your pawn level. I will read that name to go go all out slow, my baby, she ready. Stadium last by she ready last. Desires a good thing. Alleluia Festival has ended. My wig shifted <laughs> while I was jumping and dancing. And I don't mind actually. I have no shame. In the presence of God, there is no shame. This is me just sitting and chilling. Tomorrow is the last day of Alleluia Challenge and I'm really excited. I saw Pastor Victoria. I like her so much. I love her. I love and like her. I forgot to take pictures with her because I was just busy hugging her. I saw Prophet T. Finney. It was good to um, see her in person and hug her. It was, just, it was really, 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 really beautiful. Beautiful. It's a new season. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Season. Okay, so this is the morning after Alleluia Festival. Yesterday was was epic was lit was powerful you know sometimes when some things happen in the presence of god then when you have such an encounter with god you don't have the right words to describe what had what has happened to you when i waited to the very last like i waited till the end even when it ended i was just sitting on the chair i was like what just happened it was really beautiful it was powerful and i just want to say thank you to pastor nat god bless you so much the more i hear him talk the more i hear him the more i fall in love with him i fall in love with his heart for god with his heart for the people of god with his heart for the things of god and I'm just praying grace, 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 grace over Pastor Nat, over his wife, Pastor Sarah. Thank you, Pastor Sarah. I, ah, <laughs> I've been disturbing Pastor Sarah lately. Thank you so much, Pastor Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm just really, I can't believe that Lilia um, challenge is ending tonight because I'm like, oh God, please let it not end i'm hoping that i'll be able to get into that place tonight but if not i'll still watch online and just pray but god bless you so much pastor now we can never ever thank you enough god bless you also something very funny happened yesterday that my sister was just telling me about yesterday like i said i showed you that dress now if not for god i will not wear that clothes because i i just want to wear something that i'm going to be comfortable in and i didn't like the fact that i, I got there i didn't get there on time even though I, I was ready i was waiting for some of my colleagues because they had said that they wanted to go with me so i pleaded with pastor sarah to get tickets for them and she had agreed to give me more tickets for them however i was waiting and waiting and they just delayed me yesterday was actually the future awards i was invited for it but i chose alilia festival over here because i didn't want to miss any any part of it i could have just done both and go for um the future awards and then come back for alilia chat and um, festival but i was like no i don't that's how much i wanted to be there to experience every bit of the festival however some of them they were just keeping me waiting i was so angry at some point i was like oh let me just go by the time i got there the whole place was full but what happened was that i think because of the clothes that i wore every time i stand up i shout and I, because that's still clearly how i am in the presence of god somebody would just be looking at me and see ah hey yeah, this guy is really looking for us but don't worry go answer your prayer don't see how much fun to somebody yesterday for looking at those like why are you looking at that like that <laughs> this is the presence of god because me i don't like i've said i always say it i don't club i don't go but when you want to see me misbehave is always in the presence of i don't i can take off my wig i can stand on the chair i can run around i like 
I'm like that. I just, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like I'm in my, I'm in the presence of my father. I can misbehave. Do you understand? I don't know where the energy comes from. So we were just, we were just because I was just jumping, shouting. I was climbing on the chair. I was, but I, obviously I didn't record that part because I just, I kept my phone. I was just shouting. I think the funniest part was when <laughs> someone came to meet me. I whispered in my ears, "I don't worry, God has answered your prayer. You will get married. You don't like just just keep thanking God." I don't know, Sha, but well, maybe she meant it from a good place. But it was just funny to me because in my I was not telling Tosin that maybe if I had not worn this dress, maybe nobody would come and be telling me. <laughs> Oh, uh, they will not be looking at me funny, you know, like that look of ah, oh, yeah, the reason why even this girl is shout like this now because she didn't us. But anyway, 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 I, I don't feel bad for obeying instructions, I don't feel bad for doing what God asked me to do, and I just really want to say this here for us as Christians, sometimes you don't like to follow simple instructions like when they say dress like your miracle no I'm, i mean like outside of alleluia festival now like if you're going for any prophetic program event and they tell you to do something please always stick to instructions because if they tell you now that um come to um american embassy the person that the person that can dress like something something you get so so, so, and so visa every single person will do their best to follow that instruction if they say uh, you win tell me best dress is winning think of it you so why is it that when it comes to the things of god some of us don't like to take it seriously is i don't i don't think it makes sense and also when they say jump you came all the way to come for festival they will say jump you will look you will sit down they will say so you will sit down why, why did you come you will have allow somebody else that wants to be there to come and carry that ticket and serve the lord their god they will say shout mm -mm. they will say stand up they will say turn around they say i am turning around to my father my lover hey what's that the personality to say eh odi makonga and we must enter the carpet we will not enter anything that you will not do why did you come that's some of you too you will join morning prayers join midnight prayer only to just join for joining if they say shout you will not shout if they, so how do you want god to answer your prayer these things are prophetic things they are not just telling you to do these things because they want you to be do it to just say um, burn calories or something it's prophetic and it's these stupid things it's in the stupid things when you do these stupid things that's where you get your miracles from so if you see somebody dancing undignified or something if you cannot relate just do your own instead of just looking at them like they are running mad or something right and let's always try to obey simple prophetic instructions as children of god um what else do i want to say i've already said the minister victoria's administration was powerful as this woman mm, mm, to cause hey i don't know how to pronounce her name from south africa she was really wonderful i couldn't even record that session because i was just like this minister Dunsin's administration was powerful undignified my wig shifted as you saw in that video as you say, I will shout, I will shout, I will sing, I say, I will let them know. I will let them know. like the same part of that. You know, like, typically, if you use glue on your head, eh, you know how that glue will just glue your head down. It does not move until you start to put spirits. But the spirit of God removed the glue. In. <laughs> removed the glue of my wig without even using spirits. Can you see that there is a stronger spirit than spirit? Spirit is my spirit. When I go back to the house, I didn't want to start struggling to do like this. I just did like this and it came up. It was really powerful, honestly. Honestly, God bless. God bless everybody. God bless Pastor Nat. And I also love how Pastor Nat invited other people on stage to come and sing. He really didn't have to. Like, just really love how he brought other ministers up on stage to sing. I just like how he's sharing his platform, you know, with other gospel ministers and today uh, imam my god is coming i'm really happy for him i'm happy that he's going to be stepping into that room of grace 
so guys just do well to join tonight if you've not been joining hallelujah first challenge <laughs> if you've not been joining hallelujah challenge do well to join tonight you can watch the previous um um episodes i've been away today the collab you can watch the other days the past days on on youtube it will bless you so much um yeah i'm just i'm just really 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 excited so once again thank you so much for watching this video i i hope that you really enjoyed watching <laughs> take care and have a great day have a great week